Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second episode of Criminal Takes. I'm Criminal. My friend here is Poskanov. I always say his name wrong again. But today... You just fucked it up. Did I, dude, I said it like right four times. You, you said it right Poznikov. before we recorded it. And now you just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dyslexia Hello, can't guys. handle your name, dude. I, I, I want to flip the letters every single time. Oh, you actually... Yeah, I'm seriously dyslexic. <laughs> uh, oh, that, I completely. You can call me however you want. I don't. Really no, no, care. I, it doesn't matter. Guy. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> anyways, today we are ranking all of Fujimoto's works from F to S tier in random order. So we're not going to go in any particular order, and we're talking about all of his published works. There are two unpublished works, and we're not ranking them because obviously they're not published. So um, and probably no one has. Has read them as well like, i, I you'll, you'll be like one of the 10 people that has read them <laughs> dude i searched and searched i went through internet archives i contacted japanese friends who are good sleuths could not find them at all and i've been digging for a long time as a certified fujimoto super fan and i, I found screenshots of certain panels um i cannot find the actual originals so i think they're lost to time i hope they get published at some point but it's a lost media guys i, I think <laughs> it is lost media like officially yeah, at this i point. don't think it is bro I, I swear to god i'll find it before we upload the podcast i'll go into my my weird archives where i find all if the you actually movie. find it i will like worship you like a god <laughs> okay if i if I, i'll actually try to find it and put it in the comment section but hey whatever let's just start this this yeah. podcast guys <laughs> So we're going to rank, obviously, we're, we're going to rank them in random order. Uh, we're going to spend a lot less time on the one shots. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go through all of them and talk it out. So first we have chickens or chickens clucking in the schoolyard, I think is the official name. And I'm feeling as Fujimoto's works goes, this is a strong C tier for me. I have a couple reasons for this. I, I like the twist and it's cute. But it doesn't necessarily stand out in the way his other works do. It's one of his earliest works. Can you explain works. the twist? The, the twist in the story? How the yeah, other the guy that is taking care of him is actually an alien all the time. The whole time. And so... Oh, I remember this one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I see this one. Yeah, yeah, I actually read it but like a long time ago. It's like the mermaid one. I don't really remember. But yeah, I see. Uh, it's not as memorable as I would say. It's... Uh, so I think a C, I would put it at a, I would put it like start as a D to be honest. I'm not yeah, let's put lie. it at D and we can move it. I, I think there it's are the moments one and we can move it after. I think there are moments in it that are really endearing to me, and I find the relationship between the alien and the human interesting, and I find the idea to be um cute. And there's certain moments like when the alien. Do you remember when he talks about his crush and it's like a super jacked alien in like a schoolgirl outfit? I don't know if you remember that scene, so that's pretty funny. But overall, I no, think... I, I don't actually. But the thing is, like to me, I I would say that this one shot is pretty. Like it's it's it, it wasn't bad as much as I remembered it. I didn't read it. Like when I read the compilation, I was like, uh, okay, whatever. But I think a D is right now, at least to begin with, is fine. So especially for this one. Next is Fire Punch, which I think is going to be our first controversy because I I want to put it A. But I know you I'll feel it like S, it's so ass. Move this one to S, yeah. So we, I think we should <laughs> hash this right out. Now. So I, why, why do you think this is an S tier? And maybe I'll like try to poke holes in your in your argument. Okay, fair enough. Okay, I said fair enough for the first time. Let's count how much times I'm going to say it. But to be honest, I think that this work is just so original in so many aspects. The atmosphere of uh, Fire Punch has not been uh, matched by any uh, of the, his other works. I just find it, and maybe it's a personal take, the hopelessness, the, 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 f the cold, the frightening atmosphere of the characters, the references to cinema, and also the fact that it's, it's really like the art style as well is so much more detailed than Chainsaw Man as well because he had his assistants. I think it's like the closest to uh, a perfect work he had compared to Chainsaw Man, which was, you know, more shown and like uh, compared to his other works as well. I, I would say that it deserves to be at the first place because 
no manga from Fujimoto, maybe apart from one that I will save for later, has made me feel uh, so many emotions from hopelessness to hype to, you know, what the hell is actually happening? How is this even in the manga? How did Shonen Jump even allow to have this in manga? <laughs> it, it was Shonen Plus, Jump Plus, which is a bit less censored, but still, it was really, really gritty for, for, yeah. how, uh, so for, I... for, for, for Shonen standards. And just how did they allow this to be serialized? There are kids being abused. There are like slavery moments. There's cannibalism. There's so many gore moments. And it's just so epic. In creativity, I think this is one of those stories where you need to like, maybe Fujimoto just smoked a blunt and he said, yep, I'm going to write the most <laughs> hardcore punk stories I I've ever written. I don't think it was a blunt. And I think it was, it was crack. Just epic. <laughs> yeah maybe crack. Crack. You, know, you know more than me because guys he's older i'm just a little kid <laughs> he has done you're calling me an old man right he has now. also traded at the wall street no, that's fair though <laughs> so here, here's my problem with fire punch actually let me let me first sing fire punches like you know when i put a fujimoto work in a like i'm a fujimoto fanboy when i put a fujimoto work in a that means it's like among mangas is s tier so i think there's a couple things fire punch i call it the black sheep of fujimoto's works fujimoto's works are largely defined by like themes of hopelessness but like with a lot of wackiness and a lot of zaniness that sort of pulls us out of that despair yeah, fire punch yeah, yeah, yeah. pulls no punches like it's just brutal from beginning it's just to so end nihilistic as well it, it's <laughs> and it's kind of questions like is there uh is there meaning in a world devoid of purpose and only full of suffering and that's sort of the existential question that like Fire Punch poses. Togata is an excellent yeah. character. Fire Punch is really philosophical in yeah. some aspects as well. The, 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 but in, in some dark aspects, right? Yes, for sure. And the references to religion and how like societies cope with meaninglessness is really interesting. Yeah, yeah. So let me let me tell you why I don't put it S tier. Okay, go ahead. So I'll first of all, I don't think. I think Fujimoto and his later works did a much better job of inserting hope at the end of his message. Like, I think Fire Punch, he took it to nihilism so far that he didn't know exactly how to reel it back at the end. And so the ending turns out to be a little bit, I don't know, contrived at the end. Like, I, I don't have a huge problem with the ending. It just is not nearly as satisfying as the rest of it. And he's sort of just reborn and the kind of Christianity kind of stuff where we see a lot of those elements throughout is, is not super well done in my opinion, like his rebirth and then the end. Pretty much like Chainsaw Man as well, like with the references to uh, all of the Christian elements. I think it's kind of, it's kind of vulgarized to the point, like, you know, it's, it's made by a Japanese guy, right? <laughs> I, I don't mind people like, vulgarizing Christianity or anything. It's just to the point yeah, where... Evangelion did it right. Yeah. It, it, was really, it was really well made. And my example, question, my, my question is like, he was obviously using it to try to convey a theme of like rebirth and also like ideas about religion. I don't know how mm. well he accomplished that. Like it didn't really strike me as horribly profound when he did those things. Um, yeah, yeah, that I completely agree with you. The ending was, I think that the ending was really, really, it tried to be really complex, but it ended being just ambiguous and kind of weird, you know? He could have done that really in, in a better way. I under, I understand the main idea of, you know, how, how at the end everything like, there is a theme of rebirth, there is a theme of end as well, there is a theme of, you know, existential existentialism as well that I think is throughout the whole manga. And the ending is, yeah, it's a bit underwhelming as well. And it was something that not only you criticize, when I read the, I was following the Fire Punch manga uh, yeah. online on, uh, on, on forums as well, and I saw that many people actually complained uh, about the ending because they found it kind of weird, you know? You get all this epic tale which is, of course, really frustrating because it's not a real accomplishment in the tale. It's more of a tragedy uh, just uh, happening all around the story. Everyone dying, everyone suffering. But still, there's still some a lot of hype moments. The ending was pretty underwhelming, that I would agree. But it actually made me enjoy more the manga because the conclusion to a, a tragedy is that it doesn't have to end in an epic way. It doesn't have to end in a way that, you know, you're saying, yeah, there is a conclusion to it. it I agree. It's just a bit about life. You know, you, you could die any time, any day. You could just go like I agree. that. And, I agree. And but it, it, could be, it will be underwhelming for most people. Right. 
and like yeah yeah fire goodbye punch area. but it's it's doesn't fire punch is his first serialized yeah. real serialized work right it's his like debut manga that is actually a, a serialized manga not a one shot not anything like that he it was on shonen plus and he did jump plus and he did i think for first manga a really really good job I so think, that's why i think like it's it should be maybe your a plus or a s minus if that even exists <laughs> but to me it's pretty much close from like perfection in terms of what i like seeing in stories yeah. i really enjoy like tragedies like british uh tragedies as yeah well. let, let me like, say Shakespearean this tragedies I also think mm-hmm. that like just the last two volumes, like that part where he lives with, I, I forget her name, Jonah, right? I think that's also, I, I feel like the first four to five volumes of Fire Punch are straight S and then he really struggles it at the end. kind of goes downhill. Yeah. And so I think you see his novice of serial serialization coming out. Yeah. And so I yeah, think yeah, Fire Punch yeah. is an A for those reasons, but I understand why you'd put it. I I put it as an S because I think it is so ambitious for a first work, bro. I, I just think thinking of that and having the balls to pull that off and we arguing between A and S for the first work of a guy that's completely crazy and that's made a manga like that. That just shows the quality of this work. Yeah. So yeah, I would I would not be I would not be mad at it being at A or S or whatever. As long as we can agree that it's at least S and it's three third volumes okay the the two sure. first volumes okay yeah it's it's a nest for that then maybe the ending kind of makes it underwhelming i agree in my heart it's an s but i can agree okay maybe it's an a i feel like a s plus has plus. to be perfect like front to back yeah but it's an a plus plus then yeah, there's, let's no, do a plus. there's no category for that I'll, <laughs> it's I'll a just, minus i'll just flip it around every <laughs> once in a while <laughs> um look exactly, back bro. another hot take for me to me Okay, I'll let look you. Back. Uh, can, can I just make a quick introduction uh, on Look Back? Because yeah, please uh, do, do you know what it is based on, right? Yeah, it's based on the fires that killed what was it like fifty people in the manga industry? Yeah, in Kyoto Animation, the studio that made uh, all of these crazy mangas with how do you call it, Violet Evergarden or something like that. Oh maybe. yeah, like so many, so many iconic mangas, and there's just one guy that was uh, that actually said that uh, the studio stole their his ideas and so he was so mad that he burned the studio and killed like a lot of people recently he was sentenced to death penalty so we're not gonna have the debate here about death penalty i just wanted to make a quick introduction the manga the one shot is based around that story of you know how art can uh like the relationship between the artists the creators and also how life can quickly catch up to you so i'll let you say what you think about it it was just a quick intro for people yeah and that's uh, a good intro because i think that i think the background and the reason why fujimoto wrote it is more powerful than the actual manga because in my opinion given fujimoto's work look back is probably a d tier and i have a which is like blasphemy. I, I can't. I can't place it the same level as chicken, bro. I'm sorry. I think <laughs> I can't, oh. <laughs> I, 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 I'm clucking chickens or whatever. <laughs> I, I can't. can't. I'm sorry. Okay. I, am, I am sorry. You are. You are dead wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Let <laughs> me make my case. Wrong. Let me make my case. <laughs> okay. Okay. The fair same enough, is, fair enough, okay. Enough. This is one of his worst works, in my opinion. Because first of all, I get it's based on the tragedy and like. I think him, his effort to make a tribute is a good thing. I think the way he goes about it is just not a good story. Like, I understand their friendship and you get connected. I actually don't feel, I don't feel their friendship that strongly. And I also think the idea of like an axe murderer is like a really on the nose allegory for a fire that doesn't make a lot of sense. And also the ending, like I get I'm supposed to feel like that compassion, but I don't know if it was just me. When I first read Look Back, I'm like, oh, <laughs> the ending is a little confusing as a read. Like it doesn't flow that well. And so as a tribute, A plus, you know, like I, I get where Fujimoto's heart was at, but just as a work of literature, it's just not it, it doesn't move me. It doesn't move me. And so that's why I put it in D tier. 
Now, now feel free to change okay. my mind. Let's let's hear why I'm Guys, crazy. I am the voice. I am the voice of the people. <laughs> I, I I go on Reddit every day looking for for Chainsaw Man subreddits for Gmodo as well and 4chan. So let me speak, guys. So everyone had a very good reception about Look Back. They they thought that it was uh, unlike you. They thought it was really 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 emotional. The relationship between the two was maybe not as well characterized as some of his other works for sure, but it was really well made in the sense that they shared their passion. And emotions through their works and I, I honestly think that you don't have to see this work as a tribute but more of a st as a standalone work of course it's a tribute but if you base it as a tribute and you say yeah it was just a tribute you lose the fact that the message around this is also about how great you know uh, art can can connect people how greatly it can connect people how it makes them feel how it can also make them have conflicts and how reality soon catches up. I, I think the message is really good on this manga. The the tribute is good as well. Uh, it was obviously a tribute, but the manga itself, the one shot, I mean, is. I, I don't think it deserves to be on the same rank as the chicken one. <laughs> the art was wonderful. What would you back. rank it? I think it was really good. And and the ending is a yeah, it's a bit of a trash kind of thing of a way to <laughs> allegorize the you know the fire and everything. Yeah. Fair enough. But I'm I hearing B tier from that, you. Like that's what I hear in your. Yeah, I would say I would say B minus maybe. Like, do you want to just yeah, put it B C good, and split B's... the difference? Like, we'll just average. Wait, you you know what you you know why I wouldn't put it in C because I think that if we put it in C, then the rest will be D and F. I don't think that like most oh, of I them disagree. will be D and F. Oh. Okay, let's let's not do them relative to each other once we've decided, right? Like. I, I, okay, you know I, mean? I would say you, you know what I would say it's a B because I I don't understand how you couldn't like feel emotional about this whole story <laughs> like Dude, really it's just badly like, written honestly. I don't know what to say like it's his yeah, least it's, compelling it's, work it's, it's badly written but I don't think it is badly <laughs> written I think it, it portrays well I think it portrays well you know the uh, two teenagers being completely you know uh, irrational sometimes having their feelings to be interjected having their relationship change through time and the art progressing I think it's yeah. a good way of of showing the development of a teenager in the way that it's going to be the pacing is going to be really frenetic it's going to be not on good not organized and everything i think you should put it maybe as a b that's my opinion so uh, your, your opinion is b perfect, and mine is d so let's just average it for the yours it's d yeah the average the... is c but do we do we put it on the average okay fair enough we put it average okay c guys it's not it's, it's not, not your opinion, opinion. it's not your opinion i'll, <laughs> I'll not take the credit opinion. for putting it in c let's not rank them relative okay. to each other because these are all going to be like yeah, averages yeah, yeah. you know what i mean yeah 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 you're right. um okay so love is blind for me i'm not gonna lie a tier a tier fantastic like oh, it, oh, so God. so let me let me say something like yeah, yeah, yeah. love is I'll war is a simple story about a boy trying to confess his love to a girl love is war is another manga by the way or i mean it's love is love blind is... <laughs> <laughs> dyslexic <laughs> moment <laughs> dyslexic moment anyways um <laughs> love is blind is about this boy who's trying to confess to a girl and literally everything in the world is trying to stop him aliens other people robbers and no matter what they do he's like i'm stopping everything to confess my love so it is a manga with a single bit but that bit is hilarious and it's cute and it's endearing and everything about it is perfectly executed and so although it's a simple premise with a simple punchline and isn't very long it accomplishes everything it wants to do in a cute and endearing way now let me also say like not all a tiers are created equal for me like if you have a really mm -hmm. ambitious a tier that might be better in my mind than a really... That's why we can actually move the order of A tier. Like you can put like Fire Punch on the first of A tier, you know? Yeah. So it's the f best of the best of A tier. It's better than Love is Blind, for example. Yeah, but even like right? an ambitious so B tier might be better in my mind than a less ambitious A tier. Like if then you... the tier list is useless. <laughs> then the, Fair then enough. the tier list doesn't, isn't logical. <laughs> Let's not complicate. I, I get your point, bro. I, I actually get your point. But first of all, your takes are horrible. They're awful, bro. Nobody agrees with you. That's why the, the podcast is called Criminal Takes. Because you put Love is Blind, a one-shot. That's cute. That has a... It's a gag one-shot, bro. It's it's a funny... Uh, like, yeah, it's but a it's funny a thing, perfect gag. 
It's a, it's perfect, a perfect gag. gag. Yeah. So will you put the perfect episode of Mr. Bean, like, or, or some comedic like st- one man show next to? Dude, uh, this the is Godfather, like the problem example, with like the Oscars. Would you do that? Right. Like, because the Oscars will always take the the S tier drama over the S tier comedy. Like, comedy has value too. Gags have value too. And if you execute it well, yeah, that's an A tier to me. There is no depth in that story other than the fact. No, there is a message that is really. I I find the message really sweet overall. Okay? Yeah. I find it. I, I read it like a few minutes before uh, we uh, started this uh, podcast, and I found it really funny. I laughed as well at the ending, you know, with the aliens. Let me ask and you things. something. It was kind of funny. When the alien but- comes back to his wife and says, "We can't destroy the Earth right now. It was a really bad time." Did it not make you like crack up? It made me laugh, but did it give, <laughs> send me shivers like fire punch did? Did it make me feel and think about it like fire punch? Yeah, but it wasn't it. trying it to. Will. I'm I'm gonna yeah. take a piss. I'm not gonna think about it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fire punch. I was taking that. You know, I was <laughs> having a shower. I was, I was sleeping. I thought about it. I'm putting it at. If look back is at C, I'm putting it at D, and that's my final word, bro. Wait, 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 I know wait, wait, we can't on, compare them. Not okay. relative. You said, you, you said what, we can't compare What is just your them. base you said, ranking? Okay. If you could rank this in okay, a vacuum. Okay, I I forgot. I forgot. But the point of us here. This is kind of to you know put them together. This is our together. average tier list. This is the average. Okay, okay, okay. We'll then refine it and compare them to each other once we've done all yeah. of the different. Okay, so it's I'll put it at um, okay, I'll put it at C, and I put it at A, so we average out to B. I, I wouldn't argue against B. It was really it was funny. Okay, it was funny yeah. enough. Yeah, sisters. I'm not gonna lie. This to one makes me. This one. this one makes me uncomfortable, and also, like, this is a straight D there's for me. There's a Yuri feeling kind of thing with this one. Lesbian energy. Yeah, but there's sisters. Tension around this story. And also, it's about like <laughs> so sister what, bonding so in the worst way. Po- <laughs> That's the criminal take. <laughs> That's the criminal take. <laughs> Look, this okay, has we to found be a D tier. Guys, we found it. <laughs> For me, for me, too criminal. Okay. Like, like to you me, it's about it sister a bonding, D. but in the worst way possible. So, like, it's D mm-hmm. or F for me. Ooh, yeah, I, I kind of. This is one of those that I really remember well, even though I've read it like one year ago, <laughs> because of the of the weirdness of the story. Right, it was so weird. Uh, so I I kind of agree with you at it being D. It's just weird. It's just weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next up, I look. He put an F. I, I look even let's put it at half because I feel like chicken is better than it. I feel like chicken is chicken better. Chicken had a, a nice plot twist. Yeah, and it, it was kind of cute in the middle. Which we're gonna get so cooked about this tier list. I'm just telling you already, guys. <laughs> I guys, think I'm I gonna be responsible nice for the bad takes, though. <laughs> Yeah, take responsibility. And maybe me, I don't know. I have some pretty bad takes sometimes. I made a, a video on Jusu Kaiser and I got roasted, bro. <gasps> oh, that was awful. <laughs> no, I actually get a, a lot of bad takes, but I think you, you've you got a pretty nice run of the Travis Scott video. Oh, never, I, dude, I, I don't know if I'll ever review an album ever again after that. <laughs> maybe. By the way, Travis Scott did not win a Grammy. Thank God. For Utopia, he was invited. He had to perform Wanna, there. It's he the first Grammy W in history. I, I like. I like how detected. our um our tier list is shaping up, though. It's kind of even, which gives us to Chainsaw Man. Which to me, like, I'm just gonna put an S for now. You might move it down. Chainsaw Man. Yeah, I'll put it. Is the greatest like shown ever. A, yeah. <gasps> One Piece is better. <laughs> I never read One Piece, and I never will. But because, like, I I don't oh, have time to read. That's a criminal take. That's a criminal. It's like a yeah, thousand he has volumes. A job guide. You know what I mean? Like, like it takes it takes some months during the holidays, bro. I swear, read it every night. Yeah, but it's what is it about? Like a pirate? <laughs> you know, like it's like what Peter Pan, Pan but a hundred volumes. Men? Like, like, bro, <laughs> you need to respect all the shonen. And aren't the they Piece, going after the me, One Piece, right? The whole thing is about the One Piece, but have they even gotten closer to their goal after a hundred volumes? Or are they just like, you know, chilling? It's not about, it's about the journey, bro. It's, it's about the journey. Well, the journey <laughs> is taking a little long, you know, like, you know, like you say that about a road trip, <laughs> but if a road trip was a hundred years, you'd start to be like, oh, you know, when are we going to get to the destination? Okay. You know? I'm saying this just quickly, like a, a very <laughs> quick interlude for like uh, One Piece. Uh, the thing is that I've been following One Piece weekly for maybe like three years. And uh, I, I don't think that 
I think that it's only people who didn't read One Piece that complain about it. I, I love <laughs> Ocean. Oceans. I love Chainsaw Man as well. But it's people that didn't actually take the time to read One Piece that will say One Piece is trash. One Piece is, has a. I don't even think it's trash. Like I, I just say I won't dedicate the time to read it. Fair enough. And if we exclude One Piece, yeah. Yeah. Chainsaw Man is pretty good. But I think that. Um, uh, maybe that's a controversial take, but I'll just have it really quickly as well. Uh, sl- I don't know if Slam Dunk was um on uh, uh was uh, on Shonen Jump uh, because it was like it, it's my favorite Shonen of all time if it is. But okay, Chainsaw Man right now, if we exclude all of those old things, I think yeah. it is one of the most original Shonens. Maybe is it the best? That's a good question, and that could last an hour. Yeah, <laughs> if, we t- if we compare everything, but I would say. The thing is, I pref- like you said not comparing. Okay, fair enough, not comparing. But <laughs> it's not my favorite work of Fujimoto. You like That's Fire Punch, problem. right? But yeah, I like. Let, Fire let me Punch pitch to you why goodbye. why Chainsaw Man is better than Fire Punch. I think okay, Chainsaw Man has for a S, much it, similar message, similar message, but Chainsaw Man does it with a lot more finesse. Like Chainsaw Man, I, I made a video about this about comparison comparing fire like agni's and uh denji suffering the thing about agni yeah the, the, the yeah the, with the red title video yeah, yeah the, one. the thing about agni yeah. is like he has <laughs> to keep living despite his desire to well i think chainsaw man embodies like choosing choosing to be happy despite you know, the woes of the world. Well, Agni's plot never really gets resolved in that way. It's just like Agni wants to, di- wants to die. And the only way that he really gets to be reborn is forgetting basically for the, everything. It's for the end of the universe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <he's, laughs> I think the message in, in Fire Punch is actually stronger, by the way you described it. And you know why? I'll give you an example from Russian literature. You get an, you get a book that's called The Overcoat by Nicholas Gogol. I, I think it's his name. And mm. the whole story... Uh, ends in a tragedy right it's pretty similar to fire punch there's a huge winter there's a guy that's hopeless basically he's obsessed with a code but there's no code in fire punch because he's he can't wear any right but the thing i think that chainsaw man has a message that has a more satisfying conclusion overall because it is intended to be a shonen you can't end a shonen jump work an actual shonen jump it's not a shonen jump plus it's a shonen jump with the censoring of shonen jump of course it's extremely original or whatever but you can't end a shonen jump with a bad ending never in the history of shonen jump will we have a bad ending because like an ending where the where there is no a satisfying conclusion for the heroes or they lose or anything like that never you will see Cha- uh, denji uh, at the end of chainsaw man being completely depressed because hey, the we'll editors see. will actually we'll see no the editors i'm telling you i'm telling you <laughs> fujimoto may be as bold as he wants to be but at the end of the day shonen jump is still a business right a- and they have those restrictions. The physical version has those restrictions. Now, I think that the part two can actually end kind of well because it's on Jump Plus now. But if we're talking about part one, uh, I would say that, you know, it was pretty Shonen-like. And that's my opinion. I think that... Yeah, but it, part one it was, was fantastic. Really original, it had this Shonen jump. It, it was fantastic in terms of a Shonen, but there are so many better seinen mangas that are not Shonens that deal with those aspects and themes better. I, I the don't thing know. That like, I've never Chainsaw seen Man something... Great is that it's a, it's a shonen to me and that's not going to change that's changing in part two but part one is and will remain a shonen with its a side of characters a key power even though they end in a tragic I, I don't way know, because like, like, shonen jumps i know okay so yeah okay <laughs> outside of denji every character mm-hmm. ends in a tragic way <laughs> essentially like like the idea of, like chainsaw man is lacking tragedy yeah like I, demon slayer i, I don't think it's it kinda, is kind of like demon slayer I don't think like Demon Slayer. Com- put, dude, almost everyone kind of dies. Demon Slayer to against... Chainsaw Man is like heresy to me. Like Demon Slayer is no. I'm not comparing the story. Garbage. I'm comparing the ending. I'm comparing the ending. I'm, I'm comparing oh, the fact. Oh, I, I, I don't know of, anything uh, about uh, Demon Slayer's ending. I'm uh, sorry. No, I'm just giving you examples. I like all shonens. I've, I, I know, and even Jujutsu Kaisen. People can theorize how much they want. It's uh, people uh, like the editors are never gonna let people do that. And Chainsaw Man, maybe Fujimoto will have his uh, fi- the final word on it because it's digital now. But uh, well, we can't really say like, well, let's just wait until then. But like, given what we have, I think part one is like the greatest finished arc of anything I've ever read. Manga wise. Manga in general. Yeah, I I think it's like it's so nuanced and like it it actually takes fire punches 
messages and like makes them more nuanced and the characters are a lot more like agni is not a fleshed out character agni is barely a character well denji is actually like multi-dimensional about the characters no it's as not much as chainsaw man is and so i think that actually makes fire punch or uh, fire punch less fire good punch is, is, is but, a ne- yeah because sh- let me just have my punch shonen yeah. jumps all about characters it's about identifying to the characters yeah. overall having you know i can be him i want to be like him even though i don't really want to be like him because it's kind of like retarded but you know the the thing i'm trying to say yeah it's it's shonen's mean young people right young boys <laughs> that sounds kind of weird <laughs> <laughs> but the difference between a seinen and a shonen which makes chainsaw man a shonen is, is that it's centered about characters following a plot even you have to say it part one is pretty linear we talked about it in uh, our uh, last episode right yeah it's pretty linear overall it, it doesn't take away compared from... to fire punch fire punch ending just sends even though it's so underwhelming I... it just okay, sets okay. the bar so high in terms of existential tales i'll put it on the same level as fire punch okay hold on hold because... on hold on hold on yeah hold on okay you okay. said a lot there that needs to be responded to. First of all, yep, yep, like yep. works that are dominated by their themes and work backwards to their characters are not as good as the other way around. Like good works start with a story and their themes emerge from their story. Well, lesser works start with their themes and the characters emerge from their themes. Right. It's easy to start with a theme mm-hmm. and have your characters emerge from those themes. It's, it's really much more difficult. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me finish my you, point. You. The okay, other thing is, that. although Chainsaw Man has a linear when it comes to world building, I'd argue Chainsaw Man has better world building. And Chainsaw Man is not linear emotionally. Like, Denji is more high on emotion in chapter, like, four than he is near the end of that. So I wouldn't say it's emotionally linear either. And I think Denji has those waves in the same way Fire Punch does. But I think the characters are actually more people while also containing a lot of the same themes. And so that's why I think Chainsaw Man is better. Also, the world building is just better in Chainsaw Man. So those, those are my arguments. But you know, go ahead. <laughs> I, I agree with your analysis. And I think this one is going to be the biggest. Uh, this the is the biggest disagreement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because um, to be honest, it's like comparing uh, an adventure book to a, a philosophical essay, you know. To me, Fire Punch is not a story about, you know, point A to B. Even though, you know, you said Denji's emotions, they don't evolve in a linear way. Fair yeah. enough, it's a well-fleshed character because the story is centered around the character. If the character was going to, you know, happy and then angry and then happy uh, in a way that's not really well-fleshed out to the character and the events are happening, it would be badly written. But Fire Punch doesn't need his characters and his characters are pretty well-written. I mean, saying that Fire Punch's characters, you didn't say that, obviously, but I think that... They are like like Togata's character is pretty well written. I really like his her character. <laughs> so, uh, um, and you know, maybe it's my personal take, but I really love the 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 Russian literature and philosophical novels overall. And I really think that Fire Punch tried to um, like take inspiration from these novels that are based around really deep existential and philosophical uh, concepts. And not, you know, appeal to anyone. This story didn't try to appeal to anyone. It is, to me, one of Fujimoto's most personal work. Uh, Fire Punch. Yeah. I, I would agree with that. so many... Oh, that's nice. You agree with No, 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 I agree that it is his... Like, you can tell because it's the one... Like, which one of these is not like the other? It's Fire Punch, right? Like... Yeah. And you can you can really see that Fire Punch is his most unique work. And I took... And I, mm. I get from you that... I, what I hear a lot from you, I think, is that you really value uniqueness, right? And, and also um, existentialism and, uh, uh, like, those kind of dark philosophical themes and so i think those themes are present in chainsaw man but i actually think they're nested within more layers that make it more interesting to me is more complete as a as a manga okay fair enough that i would i will agree on that but sometimes in art you need to value also like yeah fire punch is devastating in a way that chainsaw man never will be that's the thing that's the thing yeah like I think I talk more than you today. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I mean, <laughs> sorry, I guys, like hearing your opinion. I, I, you know, so I don't yeah, mind. Yeah, I prefer Fire Punch overall uh, because even though it's it's not as 
complete in terms of uh, as a manga if we look at it Chainsaw Man is close to perfection even in its spacing in its ending of part one uh, in its originality it's just S S S S but then the thing is that we can't we have to also take into account some things you you people say separate the art from the artist or whatever yeah but I think that it's it's not it's not right to do that, right? We need especially for a work that is so anchored into those depressing themes, we have to understand the intention behind the mangaka here. And its intention and its message is intended to be ambiguous. The story is not meant to have a, a complete a, a conclusion that feels satisfying like Chainsaw Man did. I think like comparing the two is not right because it's not comparing the same genre how, how about at this? all. It's not comparing the same target audience as well. I, I agree. Uh, I agree with all those things. Like I understand so like if I were I, 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 me, I would say right now I wouldn't put Chainsaw Man at S, I would put it at A on the same level as fire punch i would agree on that i would actually agree on that okay if we did that but i i can't agree to put it on this if fire punch is not on this L- let me and, and we have to compare this to we have to I'll, i'm sorry we i have, have a negotiation for you okay i'll, I'll move. move chainsaw man down to a above fire punch for right now if we get to move chicken up one <laughs> bro is making deals <laughs> this is not how it works <laughs> we can look okay I'll give you chicken I'll tell you we can go back when we finish no don't move it don't move oh. it don't you dare <laughs> we, we won't move that we'll, we'll remain yeah. th- it remain the same just put chainsaw man and fire punch on the same level and at the end we'll have a conclusion okay Okay. okay right now okay. I, I can't I can't say uh, we're wasting too much time we need to skip a bit on those of us one <laughs> okay Okay, mermaid. Mermaid. Uh, this is the one I remember the least, and is about a cannibal mermaid. mermaid. Well, I guess it's not cannibal. <laughs> I, they're different species, right? A uh, a, a, yeah, mermaid's a mermaid so taking a bite, people. which he falls in love with. It's cool. It's whatever. But I think it's also on the same level as chicken. Because yeah, t- mermaid chicken. Then we need vampire as well with mermaid. Then <laughs> we have the whole thing. Teteleposan. Okay, this one is a five chap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is straight yes. to F. Like honestly, it's worst ass. art. It's ass. I'm sorry. It's, it's ass. ass. It, it's it's bad. actually ass. And like I it's think he was like fifteen or sixteen when he made it or something. Like you have a hidden talent, keep it hidden, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like it's like, bro. This is I, I read it before we started. It's so mid. It's not even mid. It's so ass. It's just Dude, ass. Like it kind of makes you, you you kind okay. I'll give it this. You can kind of see like a young version of what Fujimoto would later become, but it's like yeah, it's weird. It's way it's underdeveloped. Weird. It's, it's, it's like not even, we, it's not even that weird. It's like if we pulled out the cake three minutes into baking it and then tried to eat it. Like that's what it feels like. <laughs> um, nice. I, you know, everyone should give it a shot just because it shows you that even if you're trash right now, you could make Chainsaw Man or Fire Punch later. So there, there there's a message for you. There's a spin for it. I, I don't really want to talk about it because no one's ever read it, and no one probably ever yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like it's. I put the link in the description, so if you want to read it for. Oh anything, yeah, please I'll do. Find links for that. Um vampire i okay by the way the names are not the actual names it's just like a uh, this is like the main theme shukukan <laughs> or something so this is like the yeah. the one where the hitman tries to kill the vampire and can't yeah a girl who's kind of of a dummy she's a bit simple a uh, simple minded and so basically she becomes a hitman uh, a hit yeah hitman oh yeah whatever she becomes an assassin like hitman and, and basically uh she meets a vampire right and then the vampire, uh, she falls in love with the vampire, no? Yeah. <laughs> Something like I that. I want to put the C tier. And then tier. it has a happy ending. I want to put has the C tier. It's cute. No, you... It's cute. Yo, okay, okay, put it, put it, put it. I would say we put chicken, mermaid, and vampire together. Species of things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I would put it okay. uh, in front of a mermaid. I don't know why, I but you're... in front of mermaid. Your argument that the species should all be together kind of swung me. Cause it's kind of mid, bro. It's it's mid. We can't suck his dick, bro. He's kind of mid on something. I like like. I'm, I'm sorry. I I think on the one shots, like for me, like as long as they're entertaining and they make a point, like most of them are almost bits. And like when the bit lands, I'm like, oh, that's good. But I think a lot of times you, when you're looking at these one shots, want like uh some underarching message or something like that. Well, I'm really content with like 
man, this is a good bit. You know, I like this because you like Fujimoto. I don't like. I I don't spec- like. I don't particularly like this guy. I just like like his manga. It's fair enough. But I'm I, not a fan of Fujimoto. I think I don't um, expect, I'm like, a fan I, of I'm his work. Honest, if his work is not good, yeah, but you do also like his. I've uh, never antics, read a single right? interview of his, ever. Really, I know nothing about him. That's crazy. I like someone told me there's something weird about his sister and Twitter. Like me he and his humor his are sister. very similar. <laughs> And like me and his writing, like ideas about writing, like line up together. I think that's why I'm a fan <laughs> of his. Like I, I don't care about him. Like you know, I don't know him. I'm not a. I'm not usually a fan of people. I like. I don't care about people. You're not a fan of Travis people Scott. that I don't know. Like I love the people in my life. I love people I, I interact with. But when it comes to celebrity worship, is more what I'm talking about. Like obviously, I care about people. I hope you guys are all doing well. But when it comes to like caring about people I don't know, in he like care a about you. Parasocial he told me in argument. private, I fucking hate making videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I hate doing every, that. Every, every doing day this. before the podcast, I say, ah, not this guy again. He's actually, he's actually forcing me to do that, by yeah. the way. Why would I do a podcast, guy? <laughs> Guys, I hate manga as, as well. I just sent him a picture <laughs> of his like address, you know, and after that, he's been here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. Please help me. Okay, so the species. Okay, Nayuta now. Let's go to Nayuta. Okay, I uh, want to give this. The, this is C for me. Oh, actually, B or I C. Think we need to, oh. No, we need to speak about it more, though. We got no, 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 no. Already. I'm starting with the ranking. I want to explain why. I'm starting with, like, my okay, my, okay, go my thesis. Okay, go now, ahead. Now, Yuna go ahead, go ahead. is, like, the groundwork for Chainsaw Man because it has... It is the groundwork for Nayuda. It's the groundwork for um, Makima a little bit. It's the groundwork for Cosmos. So when we look at this, it's about an entity that's sort of evil that this person has a relationship with like her brother has a relationship with and she only speaks in terms that are like evil like like she'll talk like murder death like no one can understand what she's saying and she does like very dubious things but despite this There's her a brother cute message at the end right? yeah yeah her her brother protects it's really her cute. it's nice and so you see i, I that, think that no you yeah. go yeah go ahead <laughs> no you go you go okay first. so I you mean, can see the relationship between denji and nayuda like the Nayuda in it's confusing because they're both named Nayuda. The Nayuda in Nayuda mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> kind of represents the relationship between Denji and Nayuda and Chainsaw Man, right? And also like the idea of Cosmos, like uh, or Halloween, Halloween. Her saying that over and over, like Halloween. Nayuda was the genesis. So I think although Nayuda stands on its own, probably is a C tier. I think because it influenced Chainsaw Man so much, like I'm inclined to rank it higher. Man. You know, because the influence and also in factor. terms of design, I think it's one of his most, uh, you know, uh, it's nicest works in terms of design. I really like the design of Nayuta and the whole thing about saying weird words. I find it really nice, to be honest. And, I, you know, I maybe I'm biased because there's Nayuta in second part of Chainsaw Man, but I just find it funny that he just took the design of the girl and put her in the second part. Yeah. Just for that, <laughs> maybe put it, I, I'd put it in D and in front of Chicken. D? I, I wanted to put it B. Can we negotiate in into front a C. Of look back this is no not in front it'll be behind look back it'll be behind look back just on the yeah, same okay, tier okay i'm co- okay okay it's c then okay so one of the things i also and wanted to mention that is b wait how because we're not ranking them relative to each other we negotiated we're going to this. when we finish with all of them yeah. we're going to after <laughs> okay i'm just saying this so <laughs> the so, point of the is to rank them relative to each other though <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well i'm ranking them in my head relative to each other then you're ranking them in your head relative to each other and then we're averaging which results in this yeah, yeah. <laughs> i think yeah. one of the things i'll say um have you noticed that fujimoto's works tend to come in pairs so i think sisters and look back are very similar to me and um I think that because Nayuta two girls and Chainsaw into Man relationship kind of shit. are very Chainsaw similar. Man, Nayuta. I think Vampire mm-hmm. and Love is Blind are very similar in a lot of ways. And they're like I would say Vampire and Mermaid, to be honest. Oh Vampire and Mer- that's a better comparison. That's a better and comparison. And Posan and Love is Blind are together because there's a weird alien in both. <laughs> Ooh, I think you're right. Like these two, chicken and um what? How do you even say it? Tetelposan? <laughs> or... Well, I said Teteleposan because it's Japanese, right? Oh, no, so you're definitely Tetele right. You're definitely right about that. Okay, this is maybe my most controversial take. Probably not, actually. I've had a lot of controversial takes. Um, Goodbye, Criminal Airy takes. is say my name, favorite, <laughs> change, uh, favorite Fujimoto work at this point. 
it's a perfect mm-hmm. front to back like story i think it handles the ideas of fire punch in a similarly devastating way but much more personal and it also speaks to fujimoto as a person and his like ideas about reality where he and an explanation of him nesting tragedy in the absurd and still valuing the life in that storytelling and the fact that it's such an homage to cinema it's kind of ambiguous ending along with uh, like having to recontextualize the characters as things go forward and how every panel is a movie shot and he never changes from that is so ambitious and like he took so many risks on this he lands every single one i i can't even think of one bad thing to say about goodbye airy it is perfect front to back and um that's all i have to really say about it like there's nothing i can say about this work that would like it has no flaws basically it has no flaws and to me a yeah. no flaw like beautiful work like that has to be an s tier and so that's my it argument it has no flaws and it's not boring in any way it's not it's not like standard in any way as well it's pretty much original you know I, this is what i would argue because i had two things that s personally fire punch and goodbye airy with goodbye airy being first uh by the way uh first in all of those mangas i'm just saying this right now and i will say that i agree with you i would add also a personal analysis that i make i, I love the how absurd the story sounds in uh goodbye Ari. and i think there's a huge inspiration to uh, a french author look in literature that has inspired mm. the the whole movement of the absurd his name is albert camus uh, camus basically in french and he wrote the stranger i don't know if you heard of that book uh it's yes. one of it's, it's, it's a classic that you study in school basically when you're french uh which i'm french for those who don't know uh and it's a book about how everything happening you know it just seems pretty absurd you know he created that whole movement but in a way it also makes so much sense and this story is just all about being you know it's just weird it's just absurd in some moments the explosion of the op- hospital it's like a movie yes scene. Okay, whatever it's, it's just so pretty, good pretty when he weird. jumps away and and, and and yet it makes so much sense to me like this story you say mm-hmm, yep it's it's a perfect conclusion to the story yes it is and also it's actually unlike fire punch which was you know a conclusion that was underwhelming and could be argued to be good or bad or whatever this one i don't think that many people would argue that goodbye airy has a bad ending or a bad conclusion just because even though it is pretty absurd it is pretty abstract in its ending it just makes so much sense on the emotional level so that's why i think it's perfect as well I, I, the one thing i'll say is i think the absurdity in goodbye airy hits harder than in chainsaw man or fire punch because everything else is real more or less mm. or at least based in reality or the plausible setting is grounded the setting is grounded super grounded except the, the two explosions yeah. and both of them kind of shock yeah. you <laughs> you know what i mean and so yeah, the absurdism like, the actually fuck? hits really hard because he's so sparse with it i think he really controlled his wacky temperament for this one and it shows I, I like how goodbye mature Ari, of a writer he is yeah i agree i think that goodbye area is like the perfect representation of how manga can actually sometimes be as as good or superior than a liter- uh, a work of literature like i don't think that a book with words could describe what uh, goodbye airy tried to do here and how they did it the p- the paneling is insanely good creative as well with the movie things like you said the story itself is what the hell is just brilliant as well the character designs i love them and it's just i i, I would say that i prefer like reading actual books instead of mangas or comics in general but I, I must say that Goodbye Airy is like in my top 10 of, of lit- works of literature. Like maybe non-philosophical, but like more based on the story, even though it's pretty much, yeah. it is kind of a philosophical work. It it's is. Not, its point is not to be one. It, it's a personal work. You can sense how personal this work is through the paneling, through I mean, the story, man. through the themes of it. And you can see uh, the manga, like you said, through the eyes of the manga car, basically. This is kind of how Fujimoto sees the world, I would say. I have a... He sees the world like a movie. That's I have a random do. stray bad take, <laughs> yeah. which is okay, I don't like Toni Morrison or her Toni writing. Morrison. She wrote this. I'm going to get killed. She wrote this work called Beloved. Um, it's probably her most famous work. And she's an oh, artist. She, oh, oh you know I see that, what yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah, She's yeah, one of these yeah. arti- artists who their it's themes so come first and then they write the characters. And so they're trying to make a point. And instead of writing an essay, they just write like a fictional book, which really is an essay in disguise. 
One of the reasons Goodbye <laughs> yeah, Ari is so true. good is because the themes come out of the characters, not the other way around. And it's done so subtly, and yet but you I feel it deeper. I just think it's your personal opinion. It's your, like, it's your opinion on these things. Like, yeah. It's not really... It, like people may prefer this kind of style you know it doesn't mean that they they don't know how to write a good book or they're trying to hide it as a philosophical essay for like for example the brothers karamazov which is uh one of the greatest books of all time oh, i haven't read this one but it's the much, one where like uh jesus kisses the guard and leaves the door open like that's uh <laughs> no it, it isn't but there's the theme of jesus in it a lot uh but it has those moments maybe it was an hallucination i read it a long time ago i don't remember every moment but it was I, when i read this book you know it you could describe it as goodbye airy but in much more detail and I, I can't compare those two works right but i don't think that uh i agree with your take on uh, on on beloved right you talking beloved. about beloved right Oh yeah, beloved. Yeah, yeah, that's how you guys call it. Fucking English people. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, yeah, I don't think that beloved it's just, and beloved are I uh, like two different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I understand. I yeah, understand. okay. <laughs> uh, I understand. Thanks for teaching me how. You're Let welcome. Me try to see the. There's a, there, there'll be an S, there'll be a test at the end of this, by the way. <laughs> okay. And based on Fair your enough. score, I, I'll send something like. I'll, he'll choose how kind whatever I mail to your address is this week. An no, English I'm just, test. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yo, let's do it. Let's do it. If I okay, let's. You do would it. probably Anyways, beat me, dude. Ari, S tier, S tier, S tier. Yeah, S tier. Okay. And you do, do you remember? French test, bro. You do you remember French how test. I said everything comes in pairs? Goodbye, yes. Ari, Go and just listen to the song. Are pairs. Because they both are kind... So they're not the same. Obviously, Goodbye Airy is, like, so much more superior. But just listen to the song covers the same themes of, like, having an audience, like, misinterpret you or, like, like think... <laughs> overly think something um, when you're trying to convey a message. And, like, there's something about, like, talking to an audience who sort of is almost hostile towards you. Maybe not hostile, but, like, doesn't get it. And I feel like... In Goodbye Airy, you see that theme where the crowd doesn't get it or doesn't understand what mm -hmm. Fujimoto is trying to push forward. And you've seen the same thing in Just Listen to the Song. Um, and so I think they're kind of companion works. This one is one of his shortest. It's also one of his newest works, if I'm correct. I think this was created Wait, then let me check it. It was released. Um, I, I can tell you when it was released. Let me just check this. Because I'm on the page right now. It, it looks pretty recent. It looks yeah. pretty recent. Like I think Fujimoto's ago, gotten better over time, to be honest with you. Like <laughs> like everyone who practices something, right? I think he really did well, yeah. He's actually getting better in everything. It's not always in, the in true case writing. with mangakas, though. Or is that how you say it? Give me an example. Give me an example. Um, um I'll, Sure, I'll Aku no Hana me. versus Blood on the Tracks. Blood on the Tracks is definitely worse than Aku no Hana. Do you think so? I, I know so. In, in what regard to... We're going to get so off track. We're going to make this a different uh, episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. But, okay, you're wrong. You're dead wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Added to he's the criminal dead wrong, takes guys. jar. As always, he's having criminal takes. He's putting... He wanted to put chicken on the same level as you look back and the Utah on B, by the way. So, yep. Uh, okay, just listen. I would say it's a strong C. <laughs> Ooh. Wanna, okay, put it at B. I, I want to argue because I didn't read it. I, I just read it like a few minutes ago, but it's not. Okay, put it at B. Put it at B. Okay, I, I'm kind of struggling. B or C? Thing. Like I could go with C, but I feel like it's okay, leaning C, B. C, C, but if, C, like, C, 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 C. I'll put it behind Trust my Yuda. Me. I want to like I want to put both of these in B and look back stays here and then chickens goes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, Maybe you don't. Can... I'm gonna. Okay, okay. Let's finish these two, okay. and then we can start. You know, harmonizing things. Okay, Shisaki called catches a bullet. Is probably the most confusing ending of any Fujimoto work ever. It's mid. It's kind of mid. I think it should be. It's at mid. The D tier. At the bottom. And it's. It, it, it's like Mob Psycho, and even the character kind of looks like Mob. Okay, one of the things <laughs> that's confusing no is like, is the teacher a god? Why is the teacher talking to him on the moon? If you haven't read the story, this all sounds crazy to you. And if you read it, it won't make any more sense to you. And like... Meaning that it's mid. 
it's mid yeah it's it's it's, it's not i wouldn't even say it's mid i think it's his third it's worst us. work i you know sisters from a writing perspective is better than bullet the problem with sisters yeah, is I it's like the disgusting Yui vibes i kind of i kind of like it <laughs> i'm a big fan of yuri work so we can, like uh, i love like reading uh, lesbian stuff so i would put sisters at actually C. but they're like was my actual own sisters i don't know that's what's weird about it. they're not lesbians like i don't care i read so many more like incest stories i don't give a shit <laughs> like honestly it's it's my criminal take i don't care about all those sensitive themes even if it's weird making me feel uneasy i kind of like it i fuck with the the bowls of the, the people i don't even think there that, is know? like incest vibes in this though like i think that's, it's supposed to be about no, their there's bonding. No, there's no, it's just, it, it's, it, there's no incest vibe at all. Like, to be honest, it's just a bit of but, tension. <laughs> a little bit. I, <laughs> not that much. Ah, but not for the reasons Let's just hold it here for now. Uh, let's, so let's talk about it at the end. Okay, what is Girl the last syndrome. one? Girl syndrome. I have no idea. You you wanted me to mm. add this one. I didn't read it, bro. <laughs> Dude, I, so I believe this you. one was, okay, like, I'm going to say a backstory and take this with a grain of salt. I might be completely wrong. I believe that Fujimoto has a transgender friend and wrote this story in an effort to kind of demonstrate their struggles in the world, right? Like, that's kind of the basis of... That's your theory, a game theory. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, sorry, man. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, that uh, got me. <laughs> but that's that's coming out of your ass, basically, right? I, I think <laughs> just I think that's confirmed. That I think that's confirmed, but also... Who is like, making fan fictions? I swear to God. I th- <laughs> Fuji would have had Dude, a transgender I, friend, li- so... <laughs> what's my source? I, I saw it in a dream, okay? Me, the bro. voices told me. <laughs> I saw it in a dream. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> so... I think that's what this one's about. But it's putting a nice that aside, message, yeah. Like, yeah, I like it's it's a good message, and I think also it, it ends up being endearing. It's mid. It's mid. But it's also it, mood. And I would say mid. <laughs> yeah, it's mid. And I would say something, you know, maybe a theory. Fujimoto is transgender. That would make more sense. Why a friend, bro? Just let him be <laughs> transgender as Before well. Before or after no, mermaid. F. Put it at F. 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 You think this is F? Sisters. In front of sis- no, uh, okay. Let's harmonize now. Okay, okay. Put it at D, and then let's okay, let's do okay, it from let's the bottom. Harmonize. Okay, okay. okay. Tettles po- Tettles po- no, we, no disagreement. This is the worst. <laughs> yeah, it's trash. It's trash. But he was sixteen. Like, why make so... five chapters of that? Yeah, okay. Good for you. He was sixteen. Fair enough. Yeah, but it's okay. just trash. It, it's trash for me. Sisters, sisters, sisters. I don't know if I can go now- higher than D. I'll give you D. No, I would I wouldn't go higher than D either, to be honest. So we can keep it F to me. Bullet, I'm I'm fine moving bullet down if you want to. Like bullet's kind of on that edge for, for me because the ending is so strange. Like also when I say F bullet, as a Fujimoto yeah, yeah. work, I mean like C overall. F for <laughs> Fujimoto. Like F for Fujimoto <laughs> to me is like a C in like manga terms. But like it's just like relative to Goodbye Airy, this is an F or a D. You know what I mean? Like that's kind I don't of think, like yeah. I, I, think get, about I get it. your point. I get your point. Okay, so I'll I'll, I'll tell you bullet where I would put it. To yeah. be honest, uh, I put it F. F. Um. Um. Behind sisters. Sure, I'll give it to you. Uh, girl syndrome. Girl syndrome I want to stay in I, D. I leave it at D. Yeah. And I put it in front of mermaid. Real. Yeah. Okay. I'll yeah, put whatever. it in. I put it below vampire. That's fine. And vampire, I, D is fine to be honest. Uh, maybe chicken. Let me think about chicken. Okay, I think let's, chicken let's needs to move up, chicken. dude. I love the chicken one. Chick- if you move up chicken, you need to do two things. Okay, you move. Look back to B. Okay, I can. In do- front of love is blind. You put love is blind in C. B, uh, no. In front of Nayuta. In front of Nayuta, and you put chicken in front of Nayuta as well. I can't put chicken like, in front of chicken- Nayuta. I can do you this. Can't put, but I, and I can't put love is okay. To be honest, I think that love is blind is just you didn't read too many rom coms because I, it's just so mid. There's so many more f- like better romance one shots as well. Like I can change your mind. I can just show you. I don't uh, really see it as a romance one deck. shot. But I don't. It's like think, a I think comedy. You're to go too deep for yeah. It's, it's not deep, but yeah, it's, it's not, not deep. I it, think that's the whole point. It's a, it's, a it's, rom- a it's a It's a romance and comedy story, right? So you need to kind of include the the message about the romance in it. I think there's I, a message about I, the no, romance. I, 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 I honestly think it's a gag, like it's a joke, like with a very simple message, and it's not much deeper than that. I think like looking for that's a message. That's why I would put it. Uh, 
that's what yeah but, but not everything needs like, a message and, and sh- it does what it does good yeah but uh so does uh Nayuta as well and it has a message as well and just listen as well okay let's let's say this yeah um uh, I'm hearing I, you I, out. I agree that Love is Blind is maybe on the same level as... Uh, I would say it's even, to be honest. I would put a just listen to um, like Nayuta just for the influence of Chainsaw Man. I would just put it in front of Love is Blind. Okay? Do you want to move it up to B? I don't Behind think it's that look good, back. to be honest. Look Back is so much better than Nayuta. Ah, I'm sorry. I don't feel that way. You don't feel that way. No, I feel I feel like it's got to be a tier that... above these right now. Okay, how about something? You make it also make now, it look you make better. Your own list. Uh, yeah, okay. It makes no, it look wait, better. Let's just uh, wait, wait. Well, okay, no, I disagree. I, I disagree with. Okay, you can put it at B, then you put look back at A below fire punch and. Can I move and chainsaw, chainsaw man to S then? I, I would actually put Fire Punch and Chainsaw Man to S. This is the closest to mainstream you get. Everyone would agree to that. That one. Okay. That I would agree completely. So okay, wait. How about make your tier list right now? Like just what you would do. So this is okay. I, okay, I assume I, it okay, looks okay, like okay, this at top. This goes A. Yep. This is this is the this is my tier list basically. Okay. This Love right is blind. Here. No. Love is blind. Lo- Love is blind is uh is uh below. Just listen. That's what you do. And the chicken, yeah, remains the same. The the one shots I don't really give a shit to be honest, but they they're okay, you know, you know, they're kind of okay. I mean, look back, I I give a shit about it. It's so nice. It's so wonderful. I think this is close <laughs> to the mainstream opinion on a lot of these things. I think many people will agree on that. Okay, uh, they will actually agree maybe more on Chainsaw Man being in. Th- front it'd of probably be punch, here. Probably. And some people might put it here, but probably people that haven't read Goodbye Airy. Right, so I think of people that Goodbye have read Airy everything. Is, uh, like when I saw on Reddit the reviews and everything, people said, "Oh, it's a masterpiece." And even yeah. everyone on YouTube does. My friends do. Uh, everyone. Do. I think even we agreed on that without saying anything, right? We said, "Yeah, goodbye, Eric." Yeah, goodbye. Air. <laughs> okay, let me show you mine, and you can tell me how okay, garbage ahead. is. So, Fire yep. Punch yep. has got to go down to A. Look back goes down to D. <laughs> uh, Love is blind Guys, goes to this B. Is- this is not oh, my take right now. Okay, chickens, I'm just saying because we'll put the timestamps for final list, right? Your list, yes. my list. And Yo, this is I, yours. This that. is yours. Um, <laughs> vampire. I want to put I in C. Not... Girl syndrome. I'll keep in C. Bullet needs to go up one. Mermaid can go in front of the girl syndrome, and it looks like that. That's my tier list. Maybe <laughs> actually, wait, wait, wait. Hold, know, on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> maybe like that no way this is so hard no this is definitely what i'm thinking of. this is criminal i'm gonna screenshot this just in case you change it because no. i'm gonna post it on reddit and say my tier list for fujimoto's work you see how ro- get out how much space <laughs> you're gonna get bro i swear to god okay this so is crazy. my reasoning this is, really is a criminal i thing. made it the fuck up how much do you like love is blind how i think it's fantastic like it? i re- dude it's stuck with me i think that scene okay, when the alien talks to his again, wife okay? yeah Okay, let me just read it again <laughs> yeah. live really quickly. It's really short, right? Yeah. Okay. Today today I'll tell I'll tell Yuriko my feelings. Boiling resolve. My lifelong, lifelong and recreate Okay, President, what was it that you wanted to talk about? Yuriko, yeah? I'm going to go home now. <laughs> the weather is you know good what? today. I'm moving nice it down outside. just for no, <laughs> just for the voice. Bro, are you serious? No, I'm kidding. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. Do you want to go home together? And just read the alien yeah, bit though at the end. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm reading it. Yeah. Everyone is stopping him. So okay. Nice. Okay. Fair enough. Then the rain. The rain yeah. stops him. The <laughs> robber. What's after the, the robber? robber. <laughs> it's funny. It's as a one shot. It's funny. Yeah, it's, but I don't okay, think it's, it's a funny. comedy. I think it's just about like his like blind resolve is just like hilarious and like the fact that like it's a comedy. How can you think it's not it, a comedy? It's a comedy. Okay, it, it's a comedy. No, no, no. What I'm saying is that it's not a romance. I, I probably flipped my words. It's not really a romance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's sense. really just a comedy bit about, like, like he's so blind to, like, 
he's made up his mind so much that the whole world it's a, it's couldn't convince him. It's a very him. nice. It's a very nice one shot. It's a, yeah, I'll give you that. I, I, just, I, I think I, I respect simple things that execute perfectly, and I think Love Is Blind does what it but wants I, to do gonna, can I and be nothing more. With you? Yeah, please do. I think that it, Fujimoto was not the uh, like. There is a one shot that I've read that is just so similar to it, and many that I've read that just have this whole execution of things. And I don't think that. It's that original. I've, it's well executed. It's, it's boring kind of thing. Like I've read many mangas, and I'm not like capping. Like people can see my channel. I you just talk about that basically, yeah. right? So uh, I I read so many one shots every day. I read at least fifteen mangas and one shots as well that come from other manga cast. You read fifteen mangas just, a day. Uh, mangas and one shots. So, yeah, I that's, do. I do that's read wild, everything. That's wild, dude. I I I read maybe I, one every two days on like a good day. Because I need to find content for the channel as well. So I like, see. Yeah. In fifteen, in fifteen, there's like a, a, a like maybe three good ones, and then the rest is trash. So basically, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> But I read everything, like even like BL, like yo, know, dude. Know, I think you desensitized really yourself to manga, and now like stuff like Fire Punch holds higher value to you because it's because it's a out. typical that's why you're gonna say yeah no no definitely not definitely not i think that i've become more like a critic of manga kind of thing yeah, you you're, know? you're i, I you're look at very snob. very good i'm just kidding <laughs> yeah probably <laughs> <laughs> and, and yet my my thing is more mainstream I'm, I'm sure more people are gonna agree with me but hey love is mine is good okay love is mine is good i think it's really good but you know what i'll give it to you <laughs> but I'll put it below fire. Uh, yeah, I'll put it be fire punch is. I think it looks bad when fire. Punch. I think I have to move it down. Actually, it can't be on the same tier as fire punch. Yeah, right? it can't. Uh, put it in first of B. Put it in first yeah, of yeah, B. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. I think this is my final. Now, this Utah, is my final now Utah one. is influential, but the message is pretty simple. The design yeah. is nice, but whatever. Chicken is okay. Vampire, you have many stories Chicken. like that about assassins. Actually, you know what? Chicken's gonna move down. I changed my mind so much. This is my final one. Snap it here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Just listen. It's kind of yeah, yeah. I uh, you know what? I agree with this one. This is a lot better. I went crazy for no, a second. No, no, I disagree. I disagree with the look back one. <laughs> look back one is, no, is, is a no, criminal clip take. It. This clip is a criminal it. take. No, I'm just kidding. This this is it's, my best it's, tier list. Look back is it's insane that you put it at D, bro. I you didn't have no like feelings. it. I didn't like it. You have no feelings. Dude, Are I felt emotional a, a, with the love is a, a, blind when he confessed. Yeah, I was like, you're, you're desensitized to everything. You're a fucking monster, bro. How can you not cry after look back? This is it's insane. I might cry like, after the tragedy, I, but like the axe murderer kind of is like goofy when representing goofy when ass, really right? people, real people died in a fire. How can I represent a fire? Oh, how about like a guy hacking people to death? Yeah, that's a good that's a good metaphor for the. It's not on the nose, is There's it? So, no. In, in countries with no guns, it's sometimes like that, you know. It, it's it's really like with I can't guns, imagine like that. Knives and, and I live in the U.S., dude. Like, like there's a yeah, bro. Gotta, that's why if there's no guns, there's no bombs or anything, they they wouldn't understand. Sometimes that, you like, gotta shoot a guy US to people. send a message, like just a little <laughs> kneecap. <laughs> Okay, the only thing I would change is look back, and I think most people will. Agree okay, so with like, me. where would you put look, look back? Like B, like here. Uh, but then I move. Agree. But then I would agree. But then, like, you feel uncomfortable with this stuff sitting. Like, you'd probably move this down, and maybe, yeah. Anyways, yeah. like, I think, yeah, um, I think this is the closest to an agreement we may have. Yeah, this is probably the closest. I would, I would put, I would put, uh, I would put Fire Punch on S tier uh, in first of Chainsaw Man, like, like Do before like Chainsaw Man. Actually, like, I would do it. Uh, I would do look back a Fire Punch, uh, like after like second one in the middle. Uh, Love is Blind, uh, fair enough, Just Listen, Chicken, Vampire. The one shots that are, you know, the, the trash one shots, fair enough, I don't care. Look Back A is good, Goodbye Ari. Yeah, this is my list, this is my list, final list. Okay. Now sh okay. I'm gonna have to timestamp <laughs> this with like eight final lists that we both have. Uh, I have I have the time uh, stamp, don't worry. Awesome. Like, um, yeah. Is there anything else? I think we're, I think this was a good amount of time. I, I don't have a timer on, How how long are we? Uh, one hour and eight minutes. Oh, I think that's a good time to call it then. Uh, is there anything else you left want to conclusion, say? Conclusion, conclusion. What do we need to say? The final word, like the wisdom, words of wisdom. Say it. Okay, I'll let you say it this time. <laughs> my, my words of wisdom. Uh, you know, yeah, just because did, right? no one agrees with you doesn't mean you're wrong, man. You got to enjoy what you want, even if, like, when people tell you, you know, look, the, this can't compare to this because this is more emotional. Like, don't be ashamed to like what you like, you know. Denji was yeah, valid. Yeah, have your own takes and don't be influenced. Yeah. 
You know, as much as like uh, no one agrees with me, at least I know at the end of the day they're my takes, <laughs> and that's that's more important. And also, to don't me. disrespect someone because of their takes. Like honestly, I just like I I I, I disrespect like criminal, but it's a joke. He knows it's a joke. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. take it personally, right? Like honestly, I don't like it. Doesn't change how I know this guy from his takes. Like, maybe the Travis Scott takes are kind of bad. <laughs> you can check that video he did. It's it's pretty bad. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> it's pretty bad. But the rest is okay. I, I agree with him on most things. Even if I disagree, it's not something but agree to disagree uh, that's the first thing i learned when i was like learning english as well yeah <laughs> so yeah we, we just you know the point of this podcast is for people to actually have interactions have these discussions and in respectful man in a respectful manner you know not in a way that's yeah you're fucking wrong or like things like that please do it with your friends don't do it in the comments if you ever do it and yeah thanks for watching this episode it was really nice what's next episode gonna be that can we give it like an idea <laughs> what, what, what could it be for me next episode Ooh, yeah. oh, let's just i want to do something not fujimoto um yeah let's switch it up oh shoot man that's hard i kind of the other mangas I, I like my favorite mangas are not popular. Like I think Aku no Hana is up there, which is one of the reasons I wanted to talk about it. Um You I, know what? We we could do that. I don't see, but the video is gonna be so like the problem with that manga, it has so much uh it's really niche overall and I don't know if the video is gonna be able to be uploaded. I'm not sure. Interesting. Yeah. We're gonna we have to think about that. We're gonna have to censor many things. Uh, oh. We can do it, but as a podcast, we really need censoring, and it's a bit annoying to do. But we yeah. can do it in a way. We, we we can think about it. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about it. All right. I think that's all, guys. Uh, leave a comment down in the description. Um, you know, remember to touch your homies to in. Channel. <laughs> Subscribe to <laughs> Posnikovs. Yeah, they get right there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo! That's, that's perfect. <laughs> Dude, I, I like how I'm so happy one. to like not switch the N and the K every single time. <laughs> Good job. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this one. Bye. We said right. thanks. Goodbye. Adios.